Ah, oh, we're almost there. Just a couple more years and we can finally clean up this borders. Freedom, you try to rebel against me. All right, that's another duchy integrated. Make it so. Faster integration is always better. Okay, this is a populist faction and this is a liberty faction. Great. Not another one of these. There we go. Set up an alliance and they'll be more willing to not rebel. Today, abhorrent King Halstein, we will not stand for the foreign oppression of Greek traditions any longer. Now our time is now at hand. Give us the right to rule ourselves as we sit, or face the combined wrath of all my countrymen. Hmm, no. Okay, how many countrymen do you have? 16,000. That's actually a large number. Thankfully, most of them are untrained peasants. And you're facing the best the Sultan the Kingdom of Rum has to offer. Ah, dang it. I got murdered by someone. Died under mysterious circumstances. I throw away my covers the moment I feel something brush against my leg. The swift movement only agitates a spider. Even in the dark room, I recognize a deadly spider. How has it ended up in my bed? I can barely feel its bite at first, but soon a burning pain flows through my body. I call for help, but even with the best physicians at my side, the world slowly fades from me. I had so much to live for. Well, I guess that's what happens when you're a tyrant. King Halstein of Rum passed on at 39 years of age. He died under mysterious circumstances. Known to have stained his hand in the blood of his own kin, he's surely paying for his horrific crimes in hell. King Hogni ascends to the throne. Possessing a mighty physique and an exceptionally astute mind, his rule is sure to spawn both song and tale. If only he can survive that far. I forgot that I could do this. Vigor, beauty, and intellect are all proof of a bloodline strength. A dynasty thus blessed will pass these gifts on from generation to generation. Crusader Kings 3 is a eugenic simulator. The Moonsaw Dynasty gains strong blood, which gives us 
chance of inheriting good congenital traits and a chance of new good congenital traits. And a bonus to health. For generations, our dynasty has been known for the strength of its blood. Vigor, beauty, and intellect are all attributes associated with the Munso name. My own excellence only confirms this. All of our dynasty's best qualities in one perfect individual. My name and my gifts will live on through my descendants for centuries to come. Kind of a bit arrogant there, aren't you, child? Well, let's see, how's the Mongol Empire doing? It is not doing well, actually. To think it all's... To think uh, before it had all these... Uh, all these lands. But then they got installed... Then, oh, actually. Oh, so that's what happened. So this person was the or person who originally had the... Inherited the Mongol Empire title. But then they put in someone via faction demand. Well. Sucks to be them. I think they were all just all the way over here by reaching Eastern Europe. And so fails the Mongol conquest. Oh, right, I still have a populace who can uh, declare war. Alright, well, come at me. Fight me if you dare. Ah, dang it. Not another Liberty faction. We had way too much of those. Fine, I guess I have no choice. Ugh. Well, on the upside, we finally managed to integrate all those duchies into one kingdom. Just look how neat that border looks. Now then, what else do we need? We need a lot more piety and prestige. Once we can get uh, piety. Uh, and now there's also there's also a claim infection, and there's a ugh. Hopefully I can manage to just not die. No, most of these guys are under counts. So maybe we can... Uh... Yeah, let's just rearrange them and see if we can uh, make them less rebellious. We're gonna need more soldiers.
Oh, well, that was fast. I didn't expect that to happen, but I guess I... I guess I imprisoned the peasant leader, which ended the populist revolt. Finally, after all this time, I had the lecherous Duke Sigbjorn of Cappadocia at my mercy. When I heard of my father, King Halstein of Broom's death at his hands, I swore I would have my vengeance, and I am a man of my word. I will tear his ribs into blood wings. Well, I guess that answers the question of who killed uh, the previous king. Uh, While well, we're at it, executions all around. Oh, some revocations are need to be had. Finest sacrifices will do, man and animal alike. I didn't, who do, do, do I? Who's a good. Oh, yeah, you. The leader of the peasant revolt. The guests at the bloat are so numerous that they blanket the area around the temple, sending up a cacophonous roar as Bardas is hauled up to the altar, the very first in a long line of men and beasts stretching far out the doors. He thrashes ferociously as a Godar throttles his life away, the light in his eyes lasting till the first animal, animal is slaughtered. Human corpses to the hanging tree, animals to the cooking fires, all gore is collected in a bowl and Godard use it to paint the walls of the temple inside and out. Ugh. Blood is not the best that paint. I do not speak from experience. Truly a spectacle worthy of the gods. This seems like an excellent opportunity to impress the nobility. Jeez, how are you vassals so strong? Right, let's arrange a marriage here. here. Well, I wonder if he'll be willing to open up for another marriage. No, break this bit through chortle. There we go. It's a bit cheesy, but it works. Alright, what do we need now? We need to get our fame level up. We need to get our fame level up, save up gold, and prestige. So 
I look upon a young launderer walking by, sweaty with labor but blush on her cheeks, I am entranced. What is this feeling? This longing? Girls are so fascinating. You realize you are heterosexual. That uh, seems like an odd way to simplify things. Speaking of which, I aim to find a good bride. You are not yet an adult, but you are not betrothed. Betrothal will be converted into a proper marriage when both parties are adults. Well, let's see who do I have. Is there anyone good and fine spouse? I do have courtiers in my dynasty. They're probably as good as any. Let's see. You can get another legacy, just not sure which one to get. Uh, let's get Desirable Match. Let's have our dynasty marry uh, better. I'm uh, approaching level 3, but I need to be level 4 for the decision. Everyone gathered in the Great Hall as a squeamish Count Andres welcomes us all to the pyramid. Let's get this over with. Syria. Catholic rulers, invigorated by a call to arms of Pope Hadrianus, have started to gather a large host of zealots to wage war. To wage a crusade against all enemies of the cross in Syria. More and more fanatics are drawn in every day in what soon will be a mighty army of the cross assembled to bring war upon our lands. We can only pray that tear, the courage and fortitude to stand against the tide of infidels. Here, protect us from these infidels. I think that's mostly because two of our land is actually part of Syria. Well, let's just do the only sensible thing and cut them off.
pretty good. Let's create some titles. Uh, how much prestige did that give us? Surprisingly a lot, but not enough. <laughs> <laughs> 